To make the ears, we're going to go back to our hippo skin colour, so the grey that we were using, and we're going to do six single crochets and a magic ring. For round two, we're going to do two single crochets and an increase to get us up to eight stitches. And that is literally it. So then we're gonna pull and leave a tail for sewing. And then we're gonna make one more. With the tail from the magic ring, I'm just going to weave it so it's next to our other tail. And then we can use it for sewing on to the body. Now for the muzzle, we're going to chain seven and then we're gonna work around this chain. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. In the first round, we're going to do an increase and then four single crochets in this chain. We're gonna start in the second chain from the hook. So this one here. So this counts as one. So this is number two. So we're going to start in here and do two single crochets for an increase. We're then going to do four single crochets. And then in this last stitch, we're going to do four single crochets. into the same stitch, two, three, and four single crochets into the same stitch. On the next side, again, we're gonna do four single crochets. And then we're going to finish on an increase, so two single crochets. So we've done our chain and then we've worked down one side and up the other side. So that we're now continuing in rounds. So round two, we're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and then an increase. So two single crochets in this next stitch. Then again, four single crochets. And another increase. two single crochets in the next stitches. So one and two. Another increase. And then another four single crochets. An increase and then a slip step. Oh, an increase and then a single crochet in the last one. So we're starting to get this nice oval shape. So we should have 20 stitches in total. So for rounds three to four, we're just gonna do 20 single crochets. So at the end of round four, 
we're going to slip stitch to finish off and then pull and leave a long tail for sewing onto the head. For the arms, we're going to start with five single crochets in a magic ring. In round two, we're going to do five increases to get up to 10 overall stitches. So an increase in each stitch. Then for rounds three to five, we're just gonna do 10 single crochets. For round six, we're gonna do a single crochet and a decrease three times, and then a single crochet in the last stitch. So, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, and decrease. And we're gonna stuff the arm hide this tail and for rows 8 to 11 we're going to single crochet 7 each round So at the end of round 11 for the arm, we're going to flatten the top part once we've stuffed just the bottom bit. And we're going to go through both sides and single crochet them together. We're going to do three single crochets in total. We're then going to leave, we're going to cut the yarn and leave a long tail for sewing onto the body. So we're now going to move on to the assembly and sewing on all the body parts. So we're going to start with the arms and the arms are going to be sewn on to the first round of the body. So right under the neck at the side of the head. So feel free to pin these in place, but I'm just going to kind of freestyle it here. And I'm going to go into the neck and then through the arm and the same again into the head and through the arm and stitch that in place. So once your arm's nice and secure, what I do to tie off is I just go into a random loop and pull through like so. And then I go back under this loop to keep it secure, like so. 
and then we're just going to weave it into the head I'm going to weave it into the head and press it into the head to then get rid of the tail. We're going to do the exact same on the other side. So we're going to get our other arm, we're going to place it symmetrical side gonna line it up and then we're gonna sew it. We've done the arms, we're then gonna sew the ears onto rounds three and four of the head. So how we can do that is we can count the rounds. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna place them in between these rounds. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with my ears here. So now we're gonna stitch them in place. So I'm just going to go under the ear through the head, pull up, then back through the ear and I'm going to do that several times to make it extra secure. So back through the head and then through the ear. So once I've sewn the ears on, I'm going to weave in the ends and tuck them into the head like we did with the arms. And then we're going to move on to the muzzle. So again, we're going to need our pins to pin it into place. Just right below the eyes, like so. So once I've got it pinned in place, I'm going to do the same as normal. We're going to stitch into the head. And then we're going to stitch into the muzzle. Remember to pull it tight as you go to keep it extra secure. And we want to get it as close to under the eyes as we can. So I'm going to go right under here, under the eyes. Once we've stitched this top part, we can take the pins out and carry on around the side. So before we stitch the bottom part, we're gonna stuff the muzzle and give it some shape. Make sure it's evenly distributed. And then once we've stuffed it, we can carry on. We can still stuff as we go, but we don't want it too much that the stuffing's getting in the way. So our hippo is pretty much complete. So all we need to do now is just add some little facial features. Again, this is completely optional, but it's just a nice way of bringing your creations to life. So I'm gonna use some black acrylic yarn. I'm just gonna poke it in 
wherever. And then just above the eyes, we're going to do two small, oh, two small little eyebrows. And then for the eyes, what I do to get the eyelashes that go like over the eyes is you want to try and thread your needle into this part of the eyes here. So we're going to try and aim for there. It can be a little bit difficult with the safety eyes in the way. We just kind of need to prod about until you can get your yarn needle as close as possible. So we're coming to the side of the eye here and then we're gonna just sew into like two stitches away from the eye here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna loop over the eye like so. And then we're gonna pull it tight so that it goes behind the safety eye, but not too much that it disappears, but just so it's giving us that definition like that. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that one. We're going to do it again for the next one. Thread our needle as close to the side of the safety eye as we can. And once we're at the side here, again, we're going to go two stitches to the side and go back to where we started. And then just make sure we're putting it around the eye as you pull so that it's going to get stuck under the safety eye and give that eye definition. If you want to add some details for little nostrils, so for the nostrils, we're going to go just under the eyes and stitch a couple, maybe one stitch down, just a little line. And then again, under the safety eye, one stitch up. And then we're just having that little definition. To yarn off, we're going to go back to where we started over here. And we're going to tie the yarns like so to keep them secure. And then cut any excess you want and then we're going to prod it into the head. And our hippo is finally complete. So here we have our finished hippo. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and please feel free to comment below any other tutorials you'd like to see. Thank you guys, like and subscribe.